We've got some fall chores for you. We're going to put the garden bed to the garden to sleep, to bed, whatever. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to get garden bed to get, bed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> garden bed to bed. Master Gardener Gretchen Staley's in with us, and you've got some tips for us because you know, got to get some things done here before I the do. snow. Well, it's a great opportunity to get a head start on spring and um, to solve some problems now that vex you in the summertime. So okay. um, just a little bit more time and you can do some, get a good head start. So one of the things, I don't know if you pay attention, but once this rain dries up, um, one more pass through your beds with a good weeding. I don't know that the camera can get it, but this um, clover is, I w I'm still getting buds at my house and those are seed pods. Oh. So if, you know, we're all tired of weeding, but mm -hmm. if we can get some of these annual and perennial weeds out now, we're not only getting rid of that weed, but all these babies. So, oh, get one more here. pass. Okay, I hate to weed, but we'll do it one more time. <laughs> all right. What about the leaves? Okay, so there's a lot of press that we gardeners love and naturalists love um, about leave the leaves. And that's great for our beneficial insects. It's good for our gardens because this, um, Decomposted leaves, gardeners call black gold. It's okay. really great for your gardens. Um, it makes great fertilizer. It feeds your earthworms. But um, there's a reason there's no leaves on the forest floor because you can't just say, oh, that lady said I don't have to rake. <laughs> All right. If you want to keep your grass, you need to get the leaves off your, um, the full size, heavy, thick leaves up off your grass. Um, but you can do that by um, mowing over them. If you chop them up and get them into fine bits, they oh, that's, can stay. That's okay. that's okay. Okay. And if you have lots of trees and like, oh, there's way too many to just chop up with my mower. If you make a windrow, which I mean, just rake them into a long strip and then mow over that a couple times and get these little bits, you can not only, you know, utilize them in your yard, but you can put this over your cleaned out vegetable beds. You can put this anywhere, an inch or two of this, anywhere oh. in your flower beds where your mulch is, where you're seeing bare soil. And this is all going to help nu um, add nutrients to your soil, help your beneficial insects have a place to live, and um, it's and save all that stuff getting hauled away, you know, oh, yeah. help, help the town. That's some great ideas. So one of the biggest questions I get, and this is another use for the dry lead or for the dried up leaves, is people have hydrangeas that won't bloom for them. Okay. Usually that's a type of a hydrangea that sets its blooms on old wood in the fall. So what happens here is we get a one of those 10 minus 10 nights and then all the buds are killed off. Okay. So one option that you can do, and just try this with one of yours, see how it works for you. It works really well at our garden, at my house. Um, make a chicken wire cage and pretend that this pot is, that ground. this is planted <laughs> in the ground. You're not okay. going to do this with a container. And then just take those shredded up leaves and fill her up. Pack that full until it's completely covered. And if you have lots of leaves, then go ahead and bag a couple and keep an eye on this as it decomposes and dump some so more on it like in February. That and putting and a little coat on it. You're putting a coat on it. So you're gonna wait till this goes dormant and lose and the leaves turn brown and curl up. So this is really like a Thanksgiving -y, giving y type project. Oh, okay. All right. I wouldn't normally do it with the green leaves, but then I would leave this all the way until spring, like the first week of May when the really heavy cold is done uh -huh. and you get a lot more, you protect a lot more of those blooms. So give that a try That's if awesome. you've got one of those hydrangeas mm -hmm. that just, just hasn't, been, hasn't been, been performing. All right, here's a geranium. Mine still look good, but what do you, what's your yeah. suggestion for these? So um, you can overwinter these in a couple different ways and you said your mom did this last year. Mm -hmm. So what you wanna do is clean it up if you're gonna bring it in or if you're gonna store it dormant. So you can actually store these if you've got a bright sunroom or an unused bedroom that stays around 50 degrees or so, um, they're kinda gonna go dormant, which is fine, or they may just keep blooming away happy as like a house plant, um, but you wanna just kinda go through, pick off any of these 
dead and decaying leaves, give it a good look for insects and that kind of stuff. Um, and if you don't have a place that you want to treat it like a house plant, you can pull it out of the ground, give it a chance. This is in there pretty good. Shake off all the excess soil and put it in a brown paper bag and hang it or set it on a basement shelf in a dark, cool room. Bring it back out, pot it up. I know it's scary, that right? Weird. That is scary. But it'll just go dormant in your basement in the dark, and then and in the around spring. February or early March, pot it up and oh, that, okay. bring it out, and it'll wake right back up and be a, a lovely. I believe you. All right, real quick. <laughs> real quick. Now's the time to plant balls, right? And two yep, we're stuff, running real quick. out of time, but once the soil dries out again, you have a little more window to get your bulbs planted if you forgot and um, lawns. So once we get those leaves either chopped up or raked up, um, if, if you're lazy and you only fertilize your lawn one time a year, um, this, is this is the time. Get that step four or that winterizer um, and, and get that on. And if, if nothing else, that will green you up and get rid of some of those weeds. All right, we're ready for spring. That's when we'll see you next. Thanks very much for coming today. Thanks, Holly. All right, don't go away. Immune Edition continues in a moment.